U2, Gladys Knight, George Clooney among 2022 Kennedy Center honorees. The stars turned out in Washington, D.C., on Sunday night for the 45th annual Kennedy Center Honors. Gladys Knight, Amy Grant, George Clooney, Tanya Leone and U2 were celebrated for their contributions to American culture. Julia Roberts, Matt Damon, Don Cheadle, Eddie Vedder, Randy Carlyle and a host of others offered praise for the artists at the event. President Biden, First Lady Jill Biden, Vice President Harris and Second Gentleman Douglas Imhoff were among those attending the gala. Nancy Pelosi and her husband, Paul, who was attacked at their home a month ago, received a standing ovation. The honorees received medallions at a State Department dinner Saturday night, with Garth Brooks hosting and Secretary of State Anthony J. Blinken serving as honorary chair. Ultimately, these artists remind us of our common humanity, that no matter who we are or where we're from, we can and we are all moved by the arts, Blinken said. On the red carpet, actor George Clooney, a big Gladys Knight fan, recalled to NPR a moment from the dinner where the honorees received their medallions. Gladys got up and sang and, you know, just a cappella started to sing, the only thing that was terrible was that I had to follow. So there's 300 people in the room going, this is transcendent, and I'm like God, this is horrible. I have follow Gladys Knight. Seven-time Grammy winner Gladys Knight grew up in Georgia and started singing gospel as a little girl. She and her brother Bubba, sister Brenda and two cousins formed the original Pips. The classic Gladys Knight in the Pips was her brother Bubba and two cousins. Clooney might not have Gladys Knight's musical chops but there was plenty of love for him as an actor, activist and friend on Sunday. Don Cheadle praised his philanthropy. Julia Roberts called him a renaissance man, and Matt Damon ribbed him. I know a lot of people think you have movie star looks, but let's be honest, it takes a village to style a star into being People magazine's sexiest man alive. I've been there. Those experts can transform anyone, Damon joked.